Hi everyone, so the last time I did a review about the KK Launcher was last year when the launcher was still new in the Google Play Store and it had less features. Now the launcher has become more stable, it has more features and other things. So we're gonna have a new review video now. So let's start off with the home screen. So this is what you get. As you can see, you have a wide drawer here with a lot of space for the icons. You can obviously customize that, but yeah, this is the home screen. You get three pages pre-setup as you can see in here and if you swipe to the right on the first page you go to Google now obviously you can disable this from the settings so if you tap on the options button on your phone you are being taken to the same screen in which you are being taken on the original KitKat launcher so here you can modify the pages you also have wallpapers obviously this we have all of the KitKat wallpapers integrated here so at any time you can set a different wallpaper if you like and you also have widgets here basically uh, it takes you to the widget screen in which you can then uh, paste widgets on your home screen so let's for example put this clock somewhere on the this second page and uh, there we go and now when you won't press on a widget you get a little pop-up to resize it and you also get the option to remove it so instead of dragging it up to remove it you can immediately remove it by simply won't pressing and choosing remove and lastly we have settings so if you get into settings now you have the same settings from the last video but actually you have way more options now here available so let's start off with the desktop let's get into desktop so the first thing which you see is the grid size you're probably familiar with this we also have transition effect enable parallax these are only available on the prime version so yes there is now a prime version which offers a lot more features it will actually tell you here which features are included in the prime those who are not available here are included in the prime Next we have horizontal margin, vertical margin, show search bar, default home screen which you want to make. I actually prefer to have the middle screen always as default. Uh, you can walk the desktop to prevent any changes to happen accidentally. You can hide the desktop indicator, hide shadow. You can also hide the status bar by enabling this. You activate the swipe down gesture. Basically now after I enable this option let me just show you. I have the status bar gone and now I just need to swipe down in order to get the uh, notification screen and toggle screen. Down here we have uh, if you want to hide the icon labels you can change the size of the icon labels and you can also change the color. Next we have style to select wallpaper Android 4.4 style or 4.0 obviously we want to have 4.4 I believe then we have wallpaper scrolling if you want to stay on place or if you want to, to move the wallpaper on each page and we have a low swipe right this is the feature i was talking about earlier when you're on the first page and when you swipe to the right you open up google now you can disable this if you want from here and then we have enable infinite scrolling basically when you enable this uh, when you go to the last page you then start off from the first page again so yeah it's infinite as the option already says next up we have the drawer settings so as usual first we get the options for grid so you can change uh, in portrait mode how many rows per columns and in landscape how many rows per columns then we have uh, higher apps and also by the way create drawer folder you can create folders only on the prime version anyways down here we have hide apps in which you can hide applications which you do not want to appear and you can also change the drawers uh, from horizontal to vertical for example the transition effect setting has also been moved to the prime version next we have drawing transparency i personally like to have a bit of transparency in my app drawer i usually prefer it half so i'm gonna set this to 50 percent and once again we have infinite scrolling just like on the home screen you when you, when you go to the last page you then start back up on the first page and so on and you can also reset to the first page when entering the drawer or you can just uh, enter wherever you, you lastly have been and lastly we have icon label size once again the font of the text and we have the label cover so next we have the dock settings you can either enable or disable the dock but without a dock i want you to look awful so you best have it enabled next we have how many dock pages you want so you can actually have multiple pages on the dock let me just show you now after you have enabled this when you swipe as you can see you have you can have multiple icons here on the dock let's get back here now anyways I just prefer to have one I don't really need any more and you can also set the number of icons on the dock you can also change the scale of the icons 100% seems nice 
and you can also change the app driver icon position in the middle it looks best in my opinion but if you have different taste you can move it obviously next up we have the folder settings so the first option once again is for the grid we have max folder grid once again choose rows per columns um, next up we have allow book add which is available only on the prime version we have also background color which once again is available only on the prime version then we have preview style as you can see here the icon already tells you what kind of style you're choosing you can choose stack fan grid and other grid as you can see next we have preview background so you can change the icon it can be a circle it can be a square and so on and once again lastly we have the icon label size and the icon label color next we've got team and view now by default it is set to default team if you choose native team for example if you're using samsung touchwist htc sense and so on you are going to be using your stock icons for the phone dialer for the contacts icon and so on but if you choose default team you're going to be using the icons that come with the launcher next we've got the icon scale the size of the icons you have scroll speed you can set it to default or you can set it to fast and you also have screen orientation so you can actually force it to always stay on portrait always on landscape or you can actually set it to automatically rotate depending on what kind of uh, orientation you set it so just now next we've got unread counts which is basically notifications on the dock icons whenever you have missed a cow or you have a message received so basically when you're heading here you need to enable this and you need to choose your application which is being used for making cows obviously it's going to be the phone app so select that and I'm going to select for the messaging one as well and basically save it and now you're going to have notifications on your dock icons next we have gestures but as you can see this is kind of limited here you only have swipe down available swipe up pinch in pinch out desktop double tap won't press menu button all of these are only available on the prime version so yeah you only have the swipe down option gesture available so yeah you can choose various options here on what you wanted to do and lastly we have an option keep in memory you can set the launcher as a default from here as you can see then we have reset to default to reset all of the settings you have set and make the uh, default settings on the kk launcher you can restart the launcher in case anything has gone wrong you can also import layout from other launchers and as of now the only launchers supported are nova apex and adw lastly we have backup to backup our settings layouts and everything else and you can then restore them in case you you need you need to and that's pretty much it everyone since the last time i have reviewed this launcher as you can see it has gotten way more features and customizations available now on it on top of that it feels way more stable now smooth as butter everything is working just fine on this launcher for me so yeah a really great launcher i would highly recommend that you use it use it for daily use because it is very stable very light and it just uh, highly imitates the actual kitkat launcher and that is all everyone i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please hit the like button if you haven't subscribed already please do so as there will be more helpful videos like this in the future once again thank you for watching everyone and i'll see you next time goodbye